bring it to the sewing machine, lift the foot up, we came one stitch off. Now I'm not going to sew directly on that drawn line that I've just drawn onto the three and a half inch square. I'm going to sew a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Very important because that turn of cloth is going to eat some of that up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew just to the right of that drawn line that I've sewn. That's going to give me more accuracy. So again, we're going to turn the hand wheel and now we will sew just to the right of that drawn line. And when I take this out of the machine, I'm going to let you zoom in on that so you can see it, exactly what it looks like. Let's take it out so you can see. I'm not sewing right on the line, I'm just one thread over. That's going to allow when I pull this pin out here and pull this out, see how I'm going to meet the corner right in there? Once I press that out, it'll meet the corner perfectly. Now with this particular method, because we're using two lines rather than the angler one, we can sew this next one up too and we'll end up getting a half square triangle, a bonus half square triangle. Or you can cut it off and set it aside if you want. So at this point, we're going to cut that apart and I will use the ruler for that so you can see what it looks like. So now I've got half of that flying goose and a bonus half square triangle to go with it. As far as the angler method goes, we would pull our pins out, 